Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika. Today I wanted to talk to you about taupe eyeshadow and swatch all of the eyeshadows that I have in my collection that I feel are taupe. This was requested by one of you. I actually forgot who requested it. I'm total. I'm so, so terribly sorry. But yeah, this was something that people wanted to see and I thought that could be fun. So let me swatch out all of my taupe eyeshadows for you. Before we do that, I do have to say that I very much realized as I was going through my collection trying to find all of these taupe eyeshadows, that taupe is just a very difficult color to determine what is a taupe and what isn't. So maybe you feel like, hey, but I know you have this. Why is that not a taupe according to you? But I um, find it, I, like, I just found it a bit difficult to say like, yeah, this is a taupe, this is not. Um, and taupes are of course a mix of brown and gray and a mix of other colors sometimes as well So that makes them a bit harder to put into a certain category So I've just gone through all of my eyeshadow palettes and just tried to find like yes in my brain when I was using that shadow on Me, I felt it was a taupe So that's sort of the criterion that I use to select all of these but maybe you know this I'm not trying to be complete here. This is just what I have and these are the taupe eyeshadows that I own. So let's have a bit of a swatch party here. Yay! I wanted to start off with a couple of singles that I have, and two of these are actually from my declutter pile. So let me start with that. This is a discontinued eyeshadow from Catrice. This is their liquid metal eyeshadow in Under Treasure, and this is actually like falling out of the pan. That's how dried out it is. But I believe it still works. And this, for a very long time, was one of my favorite taupe eyeshadows, which is why I kept it around for such a long time, because it was just really, really good. I think I'll just start here, just to get us started, right there. So right there you have that shade, and I think it's really, really pretty. It's, uh, it's got a bit of a hint of gold to it, though, so it's quite warm-toned, which on me, it's not like it's not necessarily something I prefer anymore, but I do really like it. And then another from my declutter pile is this little H&M shadow. This is in the shade Sun Worship, and I've always felt like this was like a dirty, olivey, goldy, taupe kind of shade. So again, it's not perfectly fitting the bill, but it definitely sort of, in my brain, goes into that sort of like taupey category. But it's definitely a lot darker. I put it right there because I felt I had a bit of space left and. We're gonna be swatching a lot of eyeshadow, so I need to try to make the most of this arm today. Uh, so there we have H&M Sun Worship. With ColourPop Farsight, this is one of their Super Shocks. After I did my ColourPop Super Shock video a couple of weeks ago, which I will link in the eye above, um, I decided to actually keep it. Again, this was from my declutter pile as well, but this is just a stunning taupey shade. And it's, a, again, a little bit darker than um, Under Treasure was. Ooh. So this is, again, a little bit darker than Under Treasure. Let me see if I can put it right next to it. Right there. You see? So that's why I think Sun Worship can also sort of fall into that taupey category. Because I feel that these are quite similar, actually. Even though Far Side is definitely more brown. Like, this one has more green to it than this one does. Let's move on to palettes and singles in palettes. And I think I'm gonna start with the larger singles palettes first and then go through the more like uh, factory made palettes uh, because I think that's best because it also holds some of my favorite topes. I, th like this was what I've noticed when I was going through everything. I'm like, there aren't that many brands who do taupe eyeshadow. But Inglot does. I have had some of these shades for years, and one of my favorite shades in this palette is this shade right here. I'm never sure what it is called. Let me see if I can lift it out. This is their shade in Matte 360, and it's a matte taupe. Very often taupes are shimmers. It can be difficult to find matte taupey shades, and that's what that shade looks like. So let me put it next to far side. So there we have that Inglot shade, and then you can just see that it has just a little bit more gray to it than Farside does. It's a stunning, stunning crease shade on me, and this, com uh, combined with one of the teals in that Inglot palette, has my heart. Another quite old palette is my Makeup Geek palette that I still have, and in here I put a shade, which I'm not sure if they still do it, but it's this one right here called Moon Dust. And it's a perfectly like fine taupe shimmer. 
Um, and it's again, like that very sort of, like you can't really name it. Is it a brown? Is it a gray? It's neither really, and to me, then it is a taupe. Let's put that down there. So, can you see that that's again a fair bit lighter and a, a lot more gray tone than a lot of the other things that are going on? But it's also a taupe. Like, I think that once we have all these swatches down, that it's going to be a very sort of like very different color story that's going on. And then if you watched uh, my most recent like playing with single shadow video, uh, again, I will link that in the eye above, you will have seen me make this palette, which I filled with a bunch of Sydney Grace shadows that I bought. And in there, there are two shades, namely these two, that Sydney Grace labels as taupes. This one is Tiara and that one is Somber. So let me swatch these two together. So here we have Tiara and that would be Somber. And do you see how Somber has a bit more of like a plummy shade to it? And Tiara is a bit more bright. It's like a, if taupe and champagne had a baby, that would be Tiara. It's a very brightening shade. But that's not the only taupes that are in this palette because I also have this shade right here by uh, Nabla. And this is Neredi. I think that's how you say it. I'm never sure. Um, and this is just, it's more of a topper. It's a bit sheer and you need to build it up. Let me put it here. And it has a bit more of like that plummy undertone as well. So that would be the Nabla shade that's in there. And I think this is how the conversation started. This is why someone requested I do it. Cause she was like, Mac Satin Taupe is one of my favorite shades. This is my Mac palette. And inside it, I have two shades that I feel that are by Mac that are taupes. You have Satin Taupe over here, but also Patina. And like Satin Taupe is more like gray toned and Patina is a bit more brown toned, but they're very sort of similar in what they can do, you could say. So those are those two shades. So let me swatch uh, Satin Taupe first. Can I do that without looking? Yeah. That would be Satin Taupe. And that would be Patina. So there you have them. And now we're moving on to palettes that were pre-made and one that I use quite recently that is very nicely cool toned is this stack by Melt. It's their gunmetal stack and inside it we get the shade, yes, this is the shade, this is industrial and this is such a stunning. Well, this pool's quite charcoal uh, because there's a darker shade in here called gunmetal. That's this one. That's more gunmetal, you could say, like truly a gunmetal. Um, but this is a very nice sort of like very dark, very gray tone leaning taupey shade. I love that shade so much. Like I put this all over the lid and it made for like the perfect smoky eye. It was so, so stunning. I have some smaller palettes here. So I felt that the Naked Basics 2 also contained quite a, a nice taupe here in this shade right here called Primal, which is a matte. So again, a matte taupey shade, which I'm down for because we don't see them a lot. And I'm putting it right underneath the Inglot shade and you can really see the difference here that this is just a lot lighter and a lot more gray toned than the Inglot shade is. Like the Inglot shade is definitely a little bit more brown. And then another smaller palette that I love for its cool tones is the Pretty Cool palette by Dose of Colors. And in here, we also get a really pretty taupe right in the middle. It's called Sign Off, I think. And it's just a really, it's a bit, bit more browny taupe, I would say. Um, but it is a really nice one. And these little Dose of Colors palettes, like I've mentioned them before, but they are some of my favorite like mini matte palettes. And that is that shade right there. It's a bit more purpley if you put it next to the shade from uh, the Naked Basics 2, it's a bit more plummy. A pretty large palette that I have here is a very old one too. I still have all of my Urban Decay Vice palettes. I could never get rid of those for the life of me. And in the Vice 2, we get this shade here called Derailed. And out of all of the Vice palettes, like the Vice palettes definitely had a couple of contenders. Whereas like, yeah, that could go perhaps. 
but then I felt as I was swatching them that they were all missing something that I look for in a taupe shadow. I think this is actually quite similar to industrial when I swatch it. You see that it's like more like that charcoal leaning, deeper sort of taupey shade. Another big guy is this Catrice palette. This is their Queen, Queen Couture 18 color eyeshadow palette. This was limited edition last year and part of the Essence and Catrice joint collection that they did. And in here, we get this shade over here, which you can see has a bit of a dent. I, have, I just have preferences, you guys, I just do. It's called the Dynasty Continues. And this shade is just oh, so, so smooth, so soft. Let me put that here. And this is like, like that perfect sort of like deeper taupe color that has brown and gray and perhaps just a touch of silver without it being a gray, a brown or a silver. You know what I mean? And shall we just talk about the OG then? Urban Decay Naked 2. This is one of my favorite all time palettes. It's discontinued, no. I did get myself a backup, I'm not gonna lie. I told you in, one, in previous videos that if this one was discontinued, I would buy a backup, so I did. Um, I'm not gonna lie, and one of the shades in here that has a huge dent in it is Suspect. And Suspect is my perfect taupe. It is a little bit lighter compared to some of the other ones, but it is also a little bit like that Catrice Under Treasure, Treasure shade. It has a little bit of gold running to it. So it's not like that kind of taupe where, uh, let me put that one here, that is suspect. I'm not going to remember what all of these shades are called in a minute, but. So compared to some of these, it looks pretty golden toned, but that's what I love about taupes as well, is that they can be quite brightening. A bit like, I think it was this one over here, Tiara by Sydney Grace. It can be very bright and flashy too, but a taupe can also be very deep and sultry and smoky. Another great taupe shade is in another Urban Decay palette that I've told you I would buy a backup of if they were to continue it. And that's the Naked 3. And in here we have Mugshot. And when I did a video where I, con like, I compiled my own cool toned palette, like if I were to make a cool toned palette, what would it look like? And I did that last month, so I'll make sure to link it in the eye. And I just knew this shade had to go in there. And Mugshot is a rosy taupe. Yes, taupes can be rosy. They can be plummy. They can even be a bit green sometimes, a bit more blue toned. Where to put it that you can see? Let me put it here. So there we have Mugshot. One of the most unique shades by Anastasia I feel we can find in the Norvina and it is this matte right here called Volatile. And Volatile I would categorize as a taupe with a little bit of, well, just something a bit more plummy to it. I think especially when I start swatching it. Plus it is a matte taupe, which as you can see here so far, I have like three matte taupes and everything else has shimmer. <laughs> it just does. Um, so let me see, let me put it right here. Ooh, there we have Volatile, which it's just so, so pretty. It's one of my favorite shades in the Norvina palette. For me, this in the crease with some of those purples that it has on the lid, that's a look. That's the look I usually go for. And then I was looking through all of my Too Faced palettes and I was like, I just can't find any taupes in here. And then I remembered that in the semi-sweet chocolate bar, which sadly has been discontinued, we get this shade here called Rum Raisin. And Rum Raisin, for me, has always been a little bit taupey, but perhaps not the most taupe that you could ever find. Uh, let me put that one right there. So there we have Rum Raisin. Yeah, I feel it kind of goes with this sort of family. It's a little bit similar to some of these like plummy shades that we have going on over here as well. Um, so yeah, that's the only taupe I could find in, by Too Faced in my entire collection. Another brand that makes uh, a palette that I would repurchase if they were to discontinue it, it is the Lorac Pro 3. And in here, we actually get a shade that makes it very easy to find because it's this one and it's called Cool Taupe. It's a shade I don't go for a lot in this palette. I prefer these shades to go into the crease, to be quite honest. 
um, and I don't find that this is, this is quite a warm taupe, and I would have preferred it in this palette to be a little bit more cool toned. Uh, let me put this guy over here. So this almost has a bit of yellow running through it, making it almost a mustard, but not quite. And then we have Zoeva, and Zoeva does a palette called On Taupe. And then you look at it, and it is a really nice cool tone palette, but I don't feel this has any taupes. <laughs> Maybe this one over here, I can swatch it for you in a minute, called Gallery, that matte, but everything else in here is quite purpley or gray. So I feel this is not a very taupey kind of palette, despite its name, but I'll just, for the sake of it, I'll just swatch Gallery real quickly. Um, this is a really nice, like, transition-y kind of shade. Let me put that one, am I doing this right? Yeah, I'm gonna put it over here. So there we have Gallery. It's very, very light, so I'm not sure if you can see it very well here. It has a bit more of that, like, pinky plumminess to it, so that's why for me, this is, like, even though the name of the palette is on taupe, I don't feel it has a lot of taupes. What I feel is a much better taupe by Zoeva can be found in the Melody palette. It has these holographic butterflies on it, and I recommend this palette if you really want to get into duochromes, because this palette has five duochromes, but it also has a matte taupe. It's called Fly Solo. So, it's pretty cool toned as well, this palette, even though it seems to have a bit of color too. But yeah, it just has five duochromes and it's yummy goodness. Like Zoeva and duochromes, I keep telling everyone they're doing good stuff, you guys. I'm going to put that shade over here. So here we have Zoeva Fly Solo. I got a couple more for you. I have one of my favorite taupes. This has definitely like risen to my top five of all-time favorite taupe eyeshadows and it's in the Venus Immortalis. A lot of people have been struggling with this getting heart pan on them. I do not, and in here we get this shade called Echo. Oh, it's so smooth, so creamy, so just, well, yummy, you could say. So I'm gonna put this guy over here. And do you just see that it has that brighter flash when the lights hit it, making it look silver, but then when it twists away, it's like that dark, sultry, taupey kind of shade. Not as dark as industrial. Do you see that that's still very, like, a lot darker than some of the other things that are going on here? So yeah, that is a stunning shade. It has just the perfect, perfect undertone. And I think something similarly can be found in the Nabla Cutie Platinum palette. This is new to me. I haven't put this on my eyes yet. But in here, oops, I'm blighting you. But in here we get Gem System. And that shade, like the minute I spotted this palette, I was like, I just need it for that shade. Like that's the only, like, because it has a gold and like two warm tone brown, so I don't feel it's as cool toned as the packaging makes it, makes it out to be. But I'm gonna swatch it next to Echo because I've been thinking that maybe these are a little bit similarly. Ooh, I don't think so. Like the Nabla one is definitely a lot lighter, but together, these would make for a really stunning look. And then I think a palette that, again, also has taupes that are in my top five, the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette in Dark Magic. And I think it has two taupes, yes. It's got two, yeah, yeah, two taupes, a lighter one and a darker one. So this is called Diversion, which is my favorite of the two, but we also get Power Cut, which is a bit lighter. It perhaps looks a bit silver against some of the things that are in here, but I think that these two will go really, really nicely with everything else that I've swatched so far. So this is one of those like more brightening taupes, I would say. Let me put them here side by side. So that would be Diversion, which, yeah, see, like I have a type because this looks quite similarly to Echo, actually. And then this would be Power Cut. Yeah, and that has that really sort of like tiara kind of like really bright sort of vibe to it. I love that. Just a few more palettes to go. I think I've got four or five, five more palettes to go. BH Cosmetics, Love in London. So this, this palette is a little bit deceiving because it is a cool tone palette, but it doesn't have any real like taupes. Like I would prefer more taupes in this to be quite honest, but it does have prestige and that to me is a really nice taupey shade. So let me swatch that for you. So this is a bit more brown toned again, a bit more warm toned. Let me put that one over here. 
So there we have Prestige by BH. Another like like another favorite matte taupe is this really old guy by Makeup Designery. This was a brand, I think they're still around, but it's a makeup artist brand so it can be very hard to find. And they did these little quads and I got this years ago. This, this I think was one of the first orders I ever placed from the US. But this shade over here is called Taupe. It's the, the shade with the biggest dent in it because I used to use this all the time. Like all the time. This was like such a great go-to little palette when I first started out doing makeup because I didn't know what to do. And this just made it very easy. And this is still till this day, super smooth, super buttery. And it's just a really, really pretty shade. We also need to talk about this one, the Smoke Show by ColourPop. This has now been renamed to the Blowing Smoke palette. So if you're looking for it, make sure you Google that. And in here we get nine shades that are very gray toned, but I feel that this shade here called Full Metal, when I was using this, that was my favorite shade. And this is more like a plummy sort of gray shade, but I feel, I think it's the most gray toned out of all of these, to be quite honest. This is the one where I'm like, is it a taupe? Is it not? Maybe it can fall into the category, but it doesn't necessarily have to. Yeah, this is definitely perhaps a little bit too, too much of a gray. And then we have two more left and they are both drugstore. I have, oops, let me again show you the fun little sparkles that are running down. This is the Essence Glitter Show palette. This was limited edition and in the same collection as the Catrice palette that I showed you. And in here we get this shade and it's called Silver Spoon. So you would think it's a bit more of a silver perhaps, but again, I feel that this is one of those more like bright taupey kind of shades. It's more like a dirty silver almost than a true true taupe perhaps, but I think it can go with what we have going on here. Do you see that? It's quite shiny and bright. All right, so then I wanna show you the last shade that I have for you and that's from the Milani Soft and Sultry. This is sadly also discontinued and in here we have this shade here. It's called Come Hither and uh, my camera just cut out so I'm refilming this part, but it's, um, which one is it? It's it's this one right here. So it's got a bit more of a plum to it and it's just really, really stunning. So yeah, these are all of the taupe eyeshadows that I have. Um, and let me zoom you in for a minute so you can have a close up of these shades. So these are all the swatches that I did for you. So there you have all those swatches. Those are all of my taupe eyeshadows. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was a fun video for you to watch. Please give me a comment down below if you thought it was. It would very much help me out. And yeah, please let me know in a comment down below what your favorite taupe eyeshadow is. I would love to know. And if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be lovely. I make three new videos a week and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.